So today we're going to learn how to prepare the laser file that we're going to use to engrave the image of our pull-along toy onto our piece of MDF material. Firstly, we need to open Adobe Illustrator like this, and then we need to make sure we have the file set up correctly. So if we go to File, New, and then before we press OK, we need to make sure we've got certain things sorted out. So here, we need to name your file. We need to make sure the color profile is basic RGB. The color mode is RGB. If you can't see that, you need to click on the advanced here. Make sure it's set to RGB. And then we need to have the sizes sorted out. Now you're going to be given a piece of A4 size material. And depending on your design, it'll either need to be landscape or portrait. So we're going to start with the landscape one. And I'm going to set the sizes. Now the sizes are 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters. If you were doing it uh, as a portrait instead, obviously those uh, dimensions would be reversed. So we do that and we have our file. Now we need to go to online and we need to search for a silhouette of the type of product we'd like to make. So I've decided I want to make a bus shape. So I'm going to come and click here, click view image. And once I've got the image, I'm going to right click to copy image. And I'm going to go back to Illustrator and I'm going to paste the image into place. Okay, now I can't really see what's going on, it's a bit too zoomed in. So I'm going to come to the zoom tool and press ALT and then I'm able to zoom out. The first step is to click image trace and let the computer process that, that's fine. And then expand and that breaks it out in, down into separate pieces that I can work with. Um, I've still got a bit of work to do, so I'm going to get the black arrow and I'm going to select the items that I no longer wish to see. So that bus I no longer want to see, and it also has a grey version of that there. I'm actually going to delete out all the pieces that I don't want. And now I take the part I do want and I move it to the, the centre of my piece. As you can see, that's coming just a little bit too long. So I'm going to need to make that a little bit shorter. So if I just bring that down to the top, it's fine. Again, I need to be with a black arrow, select everything. And then I need to press shift so it keeps it all in proportion as I bring it down to size. So that's absolutely fine there. But I can even make that a little bit bigger. Now, I want to get rid of some of the details. I don't want the, the wheels. We're going to create them uh, later. We're going to create them in, Adobe, in um, Fusion 360. So I can just delete out the wheels. And you can see I've actually the wheels got two parts, the white center part and the black outline. I need to delete all that to, to really clean it up. I also, in this case, I'm going to delete out the windows. So I can edit those uh, as I need to later. Now an important thing for making the bus is I need to flatten this section off because I want this to be flat um, so I can draw my wheels, so I draw the axles in later and attach the external wheels. So in Illustrator, the white arrow allows me to work on detail. So I can come and click and just click on these little white dots, the anchor points, and if I delete them, can quickly manipulate the image like that so we get it to the, the, the shape that we would like like it to be and I can move the anchor points okay. to get it to describe the exact shape that I would like it to be once I've completed that I now need to, to get it ready for the laser file so I simply need to change the colors. So I need to choose the fill color. 
that's where the fill colorage is here and make that white now my color tabs they should have shown up here yeah, i'm just going to select in again yes there they are so now if i select i can make it outline rgb red and i can do no fill in fact actually because we're wanting to engrave it rather than cut it i'm going to make it rgb black the outline and one millimeter okay now certain parts haven't been got so we're going to need to go in and, and reclaim those parts and just convert all those to being the same one millimeter rgb black with no fill and once you're happy with that we just need to save it and get it ready to add to the google drive so that we can take it to the laser cutter